Today, I will be showing you guys how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC. So make sure to watch till the end so you guys can also connect it wirelessly just like this and play your favorite games. So first off over here, we have the controller, we have the monitor and we have the PC. So I'm going to explain exactly how to connect this controller wirelessly because it wants to play with a cable that is pretty boring and we are also going to test it out in a few games to see if the input delay is significant or if it is manageable and playable. Over here we have Fortnite as you guys can see. If you guys connect your controller to your uh, PC, you will not have any cables or anything that looks bad on your desk and it will just be very smooth. So for the product we're going to use today, it's going to be the TP-Link Bluetooth 5.3 Nano USB adapter. And uh, we are quickly going to do a quick unboxing on this. This is a very simple Bluetooth adapter, very affordable that you can get on Amazon. I will put the link down in the description below if you guys are interested in getting this adapter. If you don't want this particular one, don't worry, you guys can get any Bluetooth adapter that might work with your PC. But I would suggest this one because I already tested this one one out as you guys can see in the package there is basic stuff included the instructions of course you can connect the mouse a headset a keyboard a controller whatever you guys want to but in this video we're going to show you guys how to connect a ps5 controller so quickly just take out this uh, usb adapter and the fun thing about this is it's just plug and play so not too much too difficult but you guys are gonna have to watch till the end because there is still a few things i want to explain even if it's still plug and play so right here, this is how, uh, how the adapter look and I'll explain the range in a moment. So let's say you have a PC over here that doesn't really support any Bluetooth and you don't want to use any third party software. Over here, you're going to just connect this adapter to any USB port on your PC. Obviously, motherboard ports are better, but I'm just going to connect it over here just for better uh, connectivity and showing you guys the video. So over here is the controller. If you guys want to actually connect it with this, you guys are going to have to press these two buttons on your controller, hold them down for a few seconds. Then you guys will see your controller start to blink and you're going to have to have to wait for it to be blinking before actually going into settings. Right now, you guys can see we plugged in the adapter into the PC. So it should show up automatically if your PC is connected to the internet. Internet. over here as you guys can see in settings you're just gonna go to the right side corner this is windows 11 and you're gonna go to oh bluetooth over here as you guys can see it's already automatically connected just by plugging it in you're gonna connect your controller input like so and as you guys can see the dual sense wireless controller is now connected and that is very important also i saw this uh, map over here this is actually one of my fortnite maps if you guys are interested and you guys are actually playing fortnite we're gonna use this map to test out the controller input delay over here be definitely go check out the zone wars map it's pretty good and uh yeah let's quickly get into the map over here we are loaded in and uh you, now you just press this button because your controller is already paired with your uh pc and it's that easy just make sure your ps5 is plugged out of the wall or you will actually connect this to your playstation instead and um also guys this usb adapter has a very long range i actually tested it out and it is literally i would say almost like 30 meters of range or something like that 25 to 30 meters of range depending on how much walls you have and stuff really good connectivity really low input delay so i would recommend this for your controller or any bluetooth device you might have hopefully that you guys found this video helpful this is a 2025 20, update video for everybody that doesn't want to watch an old controller uh video guide or whatever but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'm technical tog and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching peace out